third version of Nintendo's immensely popular DS handheld, the DSi. It follows hot on the heels of the DS Lite, to which it bears a considerable resemblance. It's longer and wider and a little thinner, and the biggest differences are apparent from a quick look. There are two cameras, one inside the case here, facing the user, and one on the outside. The slot that accepted old Game Boy Advance games, which, is just, which was just here, has been removed and swapped for an SD memory card reader, which is now on the side. The two screens are bigger by a few millimetres each, and the speakers have been improved too although if you're in public it's probably best to stick to earphones to avoid annoying people. Switching it on you'll find that the menu system now involves selecting a function by sliding the menu side to side as, as on an iPod. There's a sound application for recording things using the built-in microphone and for playing back music stored on the SD card. Annoyingly it only works with AAC music files as created by iTunes and not the more popular MP3s. More interestingly the DSi can connect to an online shop to buy and download games and other things to the memory card. The bigger screen means that it's easier to read text on the display, but the resolution is the same as before, so there's no real advantage there. Battery life has taken a slight hit too. In all, the DSi is just as good for DS games as its predecessors, although the lack of a GBA slot means that Guitar Hero won't work on it for one. If you already have a DS Lite though, there's not enough here to make it worth upgrading.